All right, so we are on 10.1, which means we are talking about percent. And in this chapter, we're also talking about percent. So we should be on page 88 here. So please find pop page 88. So you probably have heard about percent some before. Um, if I say, hey, you are smarter than 90% of the other people out there, that means that you're smarter than 9 out of 10. 90%, that means you're smarter than 9 out of every 10 other people. Um, what percent really means, if you say per cent, you can bring that up. If I say you're going 90 miles per hour, that means for every hour you're going 90 miles. So per means for every. And then cent, break that up. That's 100, because think a century is a hundred years, so percent means per 100. So if you're better, smarter than 90% of people, then you're smarter than 90 people out of every 100, which is the same thing as 9 over 10. So if you look on page 88 here, it says uh, it got things com it's comparing um, tulips, and it says there's 100 tulips, 75 are red, and so you can express that as a fraction, decimal, and percent. So as a fraction would be 75 over 100. As a decimal would be 75 hundredths. Think about it. 75 hundredths, it's the same thing as this, 75 hundredths. 75 hundredths, and then as a percent, it's 75 percent. So it should, it should look pretty familiar. It's not super complicated. Um, look on guided practice, page 89. Um, it says there are 100 beads. 38 of them are red. So if 38 of them are red, go ahead and try to fill out that same thing based on this for you. So what's the fraction decimal percent? Go ahead and pause. And we're back. So it means 38 out of 100. And that means... 38 hundredths, and that means 38 percent. Bottom of page 89 here, it says express a part a part of a whole as a fraction and a percent. So large squares divide into 100 parts, 25 are shaded, so 25 of 100 equal parts are shaded. So that means you have 25 percent shaded in 75% un, unshaded. So that's like a part of a whole. So the whole is out of 100, and the part is either 25 or 75, depending if you're talking about shaded or unshaded parts there. So let's look on top, top of page 90 now. Uh, let's switch to a more fun color. Maybe blue. All right, got to practice. So number two, go ahead and count um, that and then fi try to figure out what the rest of it is for number two. I'll we'll go ahead and pause it. And we're back. So there are 48 parts out of 100, which means that it is 48 out of 100, which means that it is... 48%, sorry, that's supposed to be an 8. And then that's the part that is shaded. So then this next part says what what out of 100 are not shaded. So that would be 52 out of 100 are not shaded. Because you got to add 42 and 58 together because total is 100. Excuse me, total is 100. 52 out of 100, which makes 52% not shaded. All right, and let's look at expressing as a percent. Um, so let's do 3 and 5. So 3 says 72 out of 100. All right, so 3 and 5, go ahead and pause it, do them, then come back. And we're back. So 3 says 72 out of 100, which is 72%. 5 says 39 out of 100, which is 39%. Not terribly complicated, right? If we look at 7 and 9, express each fraction as a percent. Let's do 7 and 9. Go ahead and pause it and do those. And we're back. 
Um, 17 over 100 makes 17%. 68 over 100 is 68%. And 11 and 12, go ahead and pause it, and we're back. Uh, express each fraction as an equivalent fraction at, and a percent. So 7 out of 10 is 70 out of 100, which is 70%. And 12 is 3 out of 10, which should be 30 out of 100, and that makes 30%. Um, and a quick detour to talk, tell you about y 3 over 10 is going to be equal to 30 over 10 because anytime you have a fraction you can multiply by let's say 10 over 10 because 10 over 10 is the same thing think about 10 divided by 10 is 1 so you're really just multiplying by 1 you can totally do. You can always multiply a fraction by one, so you can always change the way a fraction looks by multiplying it by the same number on the top and the bottom, which is going to give you 30 over 100, which is 30%. Remember this. We're going to use that a lot in the years to come, where you're multiplying by the same, the same thing on the top and the bottom uh, to change the way the fraction looks. You're not changing the fraction, because 3 over 10 and, and 3 over 100, see this equal sign, they're still equal. It's just changing the way it looks, not the actual fraction itself. All right, top of page 91, express decimals as percent. Let's switch to a new font color here, dark green maybe. Um, so it says 0 0.03 or 3 hundredths equals 3%. Um, so it's just saying, hey, we've got this, and it's going to be 3 over 100 or 3%. Uh, we've got 45 hundredths. That's going to give you 45%. You got 7 tenths. Think 7 over 10. Oh, we can multiply by 10 over 10. That's going to make 70 over 100, which is 70%. You've got to remember this extra step because otherwise, you shouldn't. Just because it says 7 tenths here, does that mean it's going to be 7%? No, because think 7 over 10. I multiply by 10 over 10. This is a very common error that people will make, so please make sure you're paying attention to the fact that if it's got 7 tenths, that makes 7 tenths. It has to be multiplied by 10 over 10 to get it over 100 to make percent. Remember, percent is per 100. If it was per 10, then this would be 7%. But it's not per 10, it's per cent. Per century, per 170. That means it needs to be over out of 100. So 70% for that. Okay, got to practice. Let's do 13 and 15. So 13, 56 hundredths, and 15 is 9 tenths. Go ahead and pause it. And we're back. So 56 hundredths. Remember, always try to say these as a fraction form. 56 hundredths instead of 0 0.56. That's going to help you a lot with this. So 56 hundredths, 56 over 100, which is going to give you 56%. 9 tenths, um, it's going to give you 9 over 10, which is 90%, or wait, no, that's 9%, right? Right? No, it's not 9%. If you wrote 9% on there, go back and do it again. Or maybe go do number 16, because you're going to end up with a similar kind of problem there. Um, but this is 9 over 10, which you have to multiply by 10 over 10 because you want it over what number on the bottom here? Yeah, you want over 100. 90 over 100, which is going to give you 90%, and that's what you want. All right, top page 92, uh, express express fractions, express percent as fractions. So it's got 8 out of a, eight out of 100 filled in right there, and so they're trying to say hey, can you make it any a different kind of fraction? So if you look at the um, two graphs in the upper left-hand corner, the ones that have orange on them on page 92, then you can see 8 over 100, but then they switch it where you only have a 25, and they have 2 out of 25. So here's what that looks like, 8 over 100. And remember how I said you can multiply by the same on the top and the bottom? Well, you can also divide by the same on the top and the bottom. And the reason we do that is because Sometimes we want to get equivalent 
um, fractions, fractions that are the same thing, but they just look a little bit different. Or, and that's called simplest form. So 8 over 100 is not simplest form because you can make them into simpler, smaller numbers. So we're going to say, hey, what number goes into both 8 and 100? Well, 2. We can divide both of them by 2, and that's the same thing as dividing by 1, which means we're not changing the fraction. We're just what? Changing the way the fraction looks. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. 100 divided by 2 is 50. Oh, okay, well, is that all the way simplest form? Can we divide any more? Yes, we can. We can divide by 2 over 2 again, which is going to give 2 over 25. And can we divide it any more? No, we can't. So that's as far as we can get. So we also, if you're recognizing here, you want, if you can, if you have to, you can divide by whatever the smallest number you think that goes into both of them, because it's pretty obvious 2 goes in both, into both 8 and 100. But since we divided by 2 over 2 twice, then we pro actually could have divided by what instead of 2 over 2 right away, to make it one step instead of two steps. Yeah, we could have divided by 4 over 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. 100 divided by 4 is 25. Look at that, you figured it out in one step. But to do this, you're going to have to be able to recognize, hey, if I have this 8 over 100 here, what can I do with the 8 over 100 so that I'm going to divide it and make it one step? So you have to think, what's the biggest number that goes into both 8 and 100? This well, this step will all, this way will always work, but you might need to do the step twice sometimes. Um, so try to think, look at it, and say, "Hey, what's the biggest number I can divide by right away?" If you can. All right, let's look at the next one: sixty-five over one hundred. All right, what number goes into both sixty-five and hundred? Well, I'm pretty sure five goes into both. And you can do the division. You're going to end up getting thirteen over twenty. Five is actually the only number you can do in there. There's not, nothing else you can do. 13 over 20 doesn't get any more simplified because there's nothing that goes into 13. So 13 over 20 is your final answer for that one. Let's look on guided practice. Let's do 17, 19, 21. 17, 19, 21. So 17 is 94%. 19 is 42%. 21 is 12 percent. All right, so you're going to turn all those into fractions over 100 and then simplify them. Go ahead and try it. And we're back. 94 over 100. I have to divide. Well, man, I don't know. I know that 2 is going to go into both of them, so I'm just going to try the simplest thing. Don't make it overly complicated on yourself. 94 divided by 2. If I do that, I should end up getting 47 over 50. And can I simplify it any further than that? No, I can't. 47, um, there's a lot of things that go into 50, but there's nothing that goes into 47. 47 is a prime number. So, and you got your final answer there. All right, here we've got 42%, which is 42 over 100. What can we divide by? Well, we know 2 over 2. Can we do anything bigger? What about 4 over 4? Well, 4 over 4 is not going to work because 4 goes into 40, and it goes into 44, so it can't go into 42. So let's, again, let's just try... 2 over 2, see what happens. We get 21 over 50. No, 3 and 7 go into 21, but neither of them go into 50. So, do we have our final answer? Yes, we do. All right, let's look at one more. 12 over 100 is what this is going to become. And divided by, let's see here, 3, 4, 2, and 6 all go into 12. Well, I know 2 goes into 100, 3 doesn't. 4 does. 6 does not. So I'm going to divide by 4 over 4. I'm going to get 3 over 25. And that's how I'm going to get my answer. Again, recognize you could have divided by 2 over 2 right away. But if I think of what are all the factors, factors are the numbers that can go into 12. So 2 goes into 12, 3 goes into 12, 4 goes into 12, 6 goes into 12. Um, and thinking, does each of those, can any of them go into 100? And 2 does and 4 does. So I did 4 right away because I know... Otherwise, I would end up dividing by 2 twice. All right, let's look at top of page 93, express percents as decimals. So you've got 48% as a decimal makes 48 over 100. That means you're going to get 48 hundredths as your answer, 0 0.48. Uh, another easy way to think about this is that when you've got 48%, think you got 48, it's percent. Your decimal is right here. Percent, you're, you're going to move it over 
This would be moving at one tens. This would be another tens. Ten times ten is a hundred. So this actually, you can just end up moving the decimal two times on whatever number you have. So if you get eight percent, you can say, hey, here, here. Uh, look, that's going to be zero point zero eight as a decimal. It's always going to work out that way. You'll find, you'll see. Um, but this is a better way to visualize it. Hey, this is over a hundred, and it goes that. So I'll kind of do both ways. Um, 79 over 100, sorry, 79 percent is 79 over 100, which is 79 hundredths, so 0 and 79 hundredths. Again, here's the decimal, 1, 2, 79 hundredths, get the same thing. All right, by bottom page 93, bottom half, let's do 23 and 25, 23 and 25, so 23 is... 38%, if I can actually write that nicely, so 38%, which is 38, oh, actually, I'm going to say, go ahead and say pause, and we're back, so 38 over 100, which is going to get you 0 0.38, and thank you, here's the decimal, 1, 2, hey, look, we got the same thing, and... 25 is 97%, which is 97 over 100, which is 9700. So I'm also going to do 24, one more. So go ahead and pause and do 24. And we're back. So this is 4%, which is going to give you 4 over 100, which is going to give you 0 and and the reason I'm doing this is because I want to remember, want you to remind you how you do it. If you're going to end up doing it this way, shifting decimal places, shift it once, twice, you're going to get zero and four hundred. See so yeah, how that's the same thing as what you get here. You just got to remember, remember that you're shifting it both places. Just because it says four percent doesn't mean you're going to say four tenths, because that's ignoring the two decimal place shift that you're doing here. So this is wrong. Don't do that. All right, and if you look at page, uh, the bottom of page 93, number 27, it gives you those different fractions. Um, I'm not going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you to go ahead and pause it, and then you can um, come back and ask me, but I'm not going to fill it in right away. So pause. All right, yeah, I didn't want to copy all that down, but the fraction for the first one, I'll just go down and say fraction decimal percent. So that is 3 over 100, which is 0 and 3 hundredths, and then... Um, the last one is 3%, and that's 22 over 100, which is 22 hundredths and 22%. Then it is 52 over 100, which is 52, oops, 52 hundredths, and 75 over 100, which is 75 hundredths. And 75%. And the last one is 100 over 100, which is 1.00 and 100%. And you're good to go.